You use different types of tape for different stra- different kind of strappings. They've got different properties. So you've got your brown rigid tape here. You've got your electrical tape. So that's just used for sort of fixing things on. So you put it over tape if you don't want it to unravel. Rigid tape's used for more of a structural role. So if they like quite a structured taping, um, you'd use the rigid tape. Then you've got the 7.5 EAB. So it's just got a stretch to it. So they'll use that for line out. They may make wedges from the foam and they'll put them on their thigh and then they'll wrap that out just so that the lifters have got something to grip onto. Um, you've got your five centimeter EAB. Um, so you may use that for some people like the heel locks in that. Some people like the shoulder locks, so preventing um, rotation. They like it in the EAB. It's just got a bit more, um, it's a bit more malleable. Um, a donut is, is basically, you make it out of foam and it's a circle and it's got a hole in the middle. So you may use it for if they've taken a knock on their AC joint, so their acromioclavicular joint. If they've taken a direct no- knock and they're just tender on the bone, you make a donut and all it is is it's just a ring that goes around the point that's tender. So if you take contact, you're not actually taking contact on the area that's sore. Um, and it just disperses the pressure. People get strapped for different reasons. Some people like a really light strapping and they just like, it's almost a bit of proprioceptive feedback maybe, Um, but it's stability. So it just, with the normal strappings, like your ankle strapping, if you've got a bit of lateral instability, so you may have had an ATFL sprain, um, you're just trying to almost revert, reverse that so we'd go from medial to lateral with their lock so you're not putting it on a on a stretch you're moving the ankle into a position that it wants to be in and it's just adding stability to that area